Hey everyone, so here's episode 4 of the vlog. It is Sunday evening and I'm going to probably upload this for Monday morning. Um, the reason I didn't do this on Friday or Saturday was just that I was um, caught up in playing a video game, which is Ghost Recon Wildlands. And it's something that I've um, been playing for like the past week, like nonstop basically since from the time I get home until pretty much about the time I go to bed, I've been playing that. And I feel kind of bad about that. But at least I'm enjoying myself with that. Um, it's, a, it's a first person game, or not a first person, a single player game, but also it does offer multiplayer capability. It does have multiplayer capabilities. Um, you're also able to play co op with someone else and play the story mode with two people or three or four, I think it's four maximum. But um, I was just playing, playing with myself or playing by myself. And. Uh, in the game, you're a character, you can build your own character, and then you have three other uh, NPCs or uh, virtual players that help you out in your team. And you gotta, it takes place in Bolivia. You gotta take down this drug cartel and you gotta uh, destroy, you know, uh, cocaine supplies and um, you gotta, you know, take all these uh, lower uh, level leaders for the cartel and then work your way up from there. And um, over the weekend, uh, Saturday, I think is when yesterday, Gwen got got a copy of that. So we were then playing co-op together and playing the, some missions here and there. So that's pretty fun. Um, so that's pretty much what I've been up to for the, the past week, like again, nonstop. Um, so the one thing I want to go ahead and uh, do is, well, this is something I should have done last week, but I because I was playing the game, I kind of held off and haven't done it yet. But I, for this channel, I did want to go ahead and create a video for you guys that would show you how to create a 360 degree uh, video using a still picture that you've taken from your uh, cell phone. And that way, if you want to go ahead and show it to someone that doesn't have either an Android phone or uh, Google services, as an example, they can just go ahead and uh, view it on your YouTube channel or uh, YouTube account and see that 360 degree view of the of the picture you've taken. Um, it's using the uh, the Google Photo app on your cell phone. It's using the uh, Image Sphere option, and I've found ways to to edit that uh, on your computer so you can upload it as a 360 video. So that's one thing I should have worked on, and I wasn't because I was playing the game. I was too busy with that. And I've already taken the sample picture, so that's pretty much good to go. I just gotta go ahead and actually show the how, uh, record the how-to part of it, of how to go about editing that on your computer to upload it. Uh, so hopefully this week I'll, I'll work on that. Um, what else? So we did recap, uh, last Friday I talked about, or last weekend, I talked about the 80s animes, like shows from like my childhood that I used to watch. Um, well, two of the ones that I forgot to mention, which were movies from the 80s that were animes, was Fist of the North Star and also Robot, Robot Carnival. And those I haven't seen until like the early 90s when they were on TV. But from like when I first watched them, I, th I thought they were pretty awesome, especially Robot Carnival. That's one of my favorite ones. The funny thing about that is that not too many people know about Robot Carnival. And I don't think you're able to stream it from Netflix. I, I doubt it's on Netflix. Um, Amazon streaming doesn't have it. I'm not sure about Hulu. And I think you can buy it off of Amazon. I'm going to do a quick check right now. Yeah, but basically it's, um, it's, uh, that. sorry about that. It's an anime that is composed of different stories. So they're each around 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. And, um, and each one's totally different. I mean, uh, they talk about different things or they show different things or they're all different. And I believe there were five different small stories put together to create like that one full movie. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that I see, I've seen it once and it's one of those things that is so amazing. At least for me, it was to where I never forgot it. And it wasn't until about seven years ago when I tried to, get a copy of it, see if I can buy a copy of it, but no one would sell. I mean, it was hard to find. Yeah. 
It's, um, I, like, again, like those streaming services, they don't have it. You might find it on YouTube. It might be there. I know the intro is on YouTube, which is pretty fun to watch. So if you want to know what it's about, well, actually, no, because the intro itself is, it's different. <laughs> so go ahead and uh, search for the intro for Robot Carnival, the anime, and uh, see how you like it. Just the intro and, and go from there. But I remember checking on Amazon back then, years ago, and see how much it would cost. And no one re really had a copy. The VHS copy was available for like 30, 40 bucks. The DVD wasn't available. And I'm just checking right now. They do have it uh, for $18, but just th the DVD. There's no Blu-ray copy at all. And I don't know. It's kind of tempting. But uh, it is it is a pretty cool anime to check out. Um, and right now that I'm looking at, uh, Amazon for this under the, uh, suggested or what other customers have purchased, there's also one called memories. That was another one where it's, I believe three different stories. It is three different stories put together, not put together, put into one, um, into one anime. So check out memories as well. That, that one came out a lot more recent. That one I did get off of, of, uh, Netflix. So you might be able to get it there. I'm looking on Amazon. They're selling it for forty-five dollars, just a DVD. So that's uh, that's pretty insane. Uh, they might have it on on YouTube. I'm not sure. Uh, what else? So from that, let's move on to fidget spinners, and that's one thing that kind of like I've seen it. It's something that I, ne I never heard about until my best friend from uh, from work told me about it. He uh, he got one and showed it to me on how it works. And this was about a month or two ago. And from then on, I've seen it pop up more and more in other places. Like a lot of uh, YouTubers are, are starting to use them and people that I think others at work are also getting into uh, fidget spinners, which is pretty cool. Not something that I'm really into myself. Um, I mean, I don't, I mean, if you, if you love them, that's, that's, that's cool for me. It's just something that I don't need or, I think, I think they're cool, but not something that I would use or need. But, um, yeah, I mean, fidget spinners are coming, they're becoming more and more popular. And I've seen some people, uh, starting to 3d print their own and make their own, th uh, fidget spinners. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know why I brought that up, even though I'm not, I'm not really talking much, uh, talking much about it, but yeah. Um, what else? Food trucks. So yesterday we, Albuquerque had a food truck festival and that's where a lot of food trucks get together. You're able to, uh, go into the events and try out different foods from different places, uh, different trucks, excuse me. And that's one thing that I've, um, we thought about going to, but then I looked at the price to get in. It was $5 to get in. That's just the entrance fee. And that kind of deterred me a bit. Um, Especially since you gotta, you know, buy your own food if you want to try out a, try out a truck, and uh, maybe next year, but not this year. I, I think what they should have done, which is what someone at work did suggest, and she said that instead of five dollars, have them charge you twenty dollars instead, and give you like five different vouchers to use uh, for different trucks. Now that we get to try a sample of, of every truck out there, not every truck. I mean, you got five vouchers. You can pick whichever ones you want to use them for, but for 20 bucks, I mean, that'd be entrance fee and the uh, vouchers and that should help out everybody. Um, and that's what we were thinking would be a good idea. And she, she thought of it. So that's her idea. I'm just, uh, agreeing with it and food trucks. I mean, if they go to an event like that, instead of serving and I, I, I did not go, so I can't say on what happened based on the website this is what i got and this was before the event so but i mean if you were to, if you were a food truck there instead of giving full selling full meals at regular price since you got people coming in with vouchers for with their entrance fee just give them a sample of uh, whatever your truck has to offer with that voucher not the whole menu but like you know, instead of a regular dish, just a sample of that dish for that voucher. And that way it helps someone try out, you know, food from that truck and then go on to the next one, try something from there and, and so forth. And at least, you know, it helps advertise your truck. And, um, and if someone likes it, they can then check, you know, look you up and see where you're normally located throughout the week. And if they want to get something from there, they can just go ahead and stop by. So I think that was a really great idea, idea of hers. And, um, 
and maybe next year we'll go, but we didn't get to go this year. Uh, they had another one that me and her went to, me and Gwen. Uh, we went to a food truck thing about a couple of years ago in, in Albuquerque, downtown Albuquerque. And it was just uh, like a normal Saturday thing where like they were all parked back to back and instead of this parking lot. And it was free. I mean, there was no f- entrance fee. You go in, you see what you want, you get something and, and enjoy yourself. So I think that's more of what it should have been. But, you know, maybe next year. Then speaking about food trucks, I mean, a few years ago, I was thinking about maybe starting up a food truck myself and make it about Peruvian food. That would be pretty interesting since um, I was born in Peru. Um, and I love to cook, so that wouldn't have been a problem of finding out who would cook for that truck. That would, that would be me. And um, just serving different dishes. And it got to the point where I was actually thinking of a name for the food truck and started making a little logo for it thinking of what to uh, put on the menu. And if it's a food truck, you want to try to make it uh, convenient for yourself to where you're not overwhelmed with work on running the food truck in terms of food-wise. I mean, you don't want to spend, you don't want to come home, prep up what you got to prep up to for the next day, wake up early to continue cooking to where then you got to go to work, which is, you know, uh, which is uh, running the food truck all day, coming home, and then repeating the process to where you got to prep for the next day and so on. Because, I mean, at that point, does it really become fun? Um, I know it may be something you want to do, but it's you're always working 24-7 nonstop, and you don't have time for pretty much anything else. And that's if you're not taking care of the menu itself. So I was thinking, you know, what can I put on the menu that would be convenient and easier on me and still give people... Uh, still have them enjoy what I'm I'm serving. A couple of things that I was thinking about like uh, on serving was like one dish called arroz con pollo, which is um chicken and rice, but the way that's made down there is with uh with cilantro. So when you look at it, it does have like this like greenish tint to it, but it's super delicious and I don't think that would have taken too long to uh I mean you can make a huge batch of that and and have it ready. Um, same thing with, uh, Babala Wankaina. Uh, that's like this, uh, these, that's boiled potatoes, which are, are sliced and they're served with this, uh, cheese sauce that you make with, uh, queso fresco and, um, evaporated milk. So that's pretty easy to make as well. And it's pretty delicious. And there's some other things here and there that I was thinking about, like, uh, serving, uh, flan with it or, or, uh, rice pudding as, de- as a dessert, um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's one thing that I I wanted to do a couple of years ago when I was working at my old job and nothing really came of it. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> and then I guess, you know, you have these ideas and you want to do it, but then I, I'm not sure if I were afraid to take that step or if other things come up. I'm just, for me, I think I just got lazy on that and never, never really, uh, got it up and running. But, um, one other thing that we, me and Gwen talked about last year was making like a a gaming lounge and that's where people can come in and play video games like at this location and you know they'll pay per hour uh they can play pretty much any game that's loaded onto the computer because they'll be linked to like a steam account as an example or origin um yeah i don't don't know i don't know why we didn't stop uh, we stopped talking about that but I mean, that would be running our own business. I don't think it would make too much money at first, but it would, it would hopefully keep us stable. And I even looked online and, and did some research. There's uh, this guy that posted on Reddit that he runs his own gaming lounge and he's had it uh, up for about four or five years now. And he runs it with his wife and they're doing pretty good. So I mean, that'd be kind of fun because at least that way you're working with computers, you're working with video games, you're um, having people come in and socialize who who love that kind of stuff um there will there will be uh, console games as well like or console systems like xbox and playstation but it'll be mostly um uh, pcs since they are better when it comes to video games um but yeah so uh, that's one thing that we were thinking about but maybe in the future we'll see what happens in the meantime i mean i i'm okay i guess where i'm at Work is pretty cool. Um, I don't mind at all. 
Um, I got a roof over my head. I don't really have much debt. I mean, I don't really have debt at all, basically. It's just uh, my student loan payment and the mortgage on the house and the car payment. So it's not to where, you know, I'm worried about, you know, my paycheck or anything. It's everything's everything's good right now. So I'm happy, but, you know, it would always be better to try out new things and see where it goes. But in the meantime, you know, maybe on the side, I know with uh, YouTube and making videos, I, I I don't think I'll be making a lot of money with that. I don't expect to, and I I also don't, I don't want to rely on that either. I mean, I'm, I'm, the reason I do these things with YouTube is because it's fun and I enjoy it, and I don't really expect to make a living off of it, at least not anytime soon. But even then, at the same time, things may change because I mean, people say that if you make videos for YouTube, you become super popular excuse me, that's, that's, that's like being your own boss. It's like you're, you have your own business. Um, but if you think about it, how many people are there out there who are trying to do the same thing with YouTube? And, and there's only those few that really make it big. And out of those few, there are some who are very careless about their money and they'll spend it all. And before you know it, they have nothing. And maybe their channel fails. Uh, there's those who do better, but you never know when YouTube will change its policies or um, its its program of how how they pay you. So you never know. So that's not like something that you should depend on. Um, and people have ideas. You know, well, the people have those dreams where they're like, oh yeah, I want to be a huge YouTube star and make money that way. But I mean, I think younger people are that way, not older people. We have us. We have, uh, and I say we because I'm I'm in that group of the older people now. At this point, uh, we we're more responsible with what um, with our decisions. I would say, at least most of us are. There are those who are older who may not be as responsible, and um, but for the most part, I think we we do pretty good um, as an older generation. And yeah, so for YouTube, I don't really expect to become like a millionaire through YouTube or make thousands of dollars a month where I can quit my job. I mean, I'm not, it's, I just do it for fun. I mean, that's the biggest thing. I remember getting my first check from YouTube last year and the only payout after you reach a certain amount in, in, uh, earnings, I would say. So I only got like one check last year and it wasn't even for that much, but at least it was something. And I felt kind of proud <laughs> and that's on my primary channel where I'm almost at a thousand subscribers almost um, if you do want to check out that channel I'll, I'll leave a, dis a link in the description for you to check out uh, but hopefully I get to a thousand and go up from there at least I know there's people watching it when they come up with a new video they'll make comments on it they'll ask questions and and it's mostly about PC stuff or uh, computer stuff not politically correct stuff but computer stuff PC stuff um, and then for this channel that you're seeing this on, it's just uh, more of a personal type um, a channel, personal and, and other things, not just uh, like not only computer related, but just everyday everyday things like uh, trips that we take or uh, DIY stuff or just general things. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And um, that's yeah, we're we're almost at uh, 20 minutes at this point, so I think I'm gonna start closing it out. I'm sorry that it wasn't as entertaining as the other ones, but hopefully they were, uh, they took 20 minutes of your time. <laughs> if you want to have this playing in the background while you do things, that's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, so I hope to be better planned for next week and, uh, hope to have some better topics to talk about. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great day.